and action. Hello, my name is Dr. Barbara Weiss and I am an acupuncturist here at the traditional Chinese medicine center. I'm Eugenie, I'm the office administrator. And here, my friend, is the herb room. Herbs. They will give you a long, lustrous life. I prescribe traditional Chinese exercises like Tai Chi Chuan. It improves your musculoskeletal system calms your nerves, all sorts of other things, improves your balance. Uh, and basically, it will give you a long, lustrous life. I'm the only acupuncturist in the United States of America, certified in straw door therapy. Acupuncture can give you a long, lustrous life. And last but not least, I give wonderful Chinese massage. I learned it in China. Massage can give you a long, lustrous life. Oh my god. It's my nemesis, Dr. Flores. Why don't you tell them why she's your nemesis? She slept with my husband. They had a secret love affair while I was pregnant with my daughter, Ruby. And she leases the office next door to me, right? And I'm stuck here working with her. Oh my God, just let me see what she wants. Hello, can I help you with something? What's all this? What are you referring to? What's going on? Well, as you know, I do special acupuncture and I have an open mic reception area. So this documentary crew asked if they could learn about it. Oh, I do acupuncture too. You should go to my office afterwards. No. What did you do? Buy another bar before me? I did. Merry Christmas! Every time I see a Barbie, I think of Dr. Weiss because her first name is Barbie. My first name is not Barbie, and I've told you that several times. My name is Barbara, but we might as well go put all this Barbie in this room over here with all the other Barbies oh. she's ever bought for me. You should open them up and have Ruby play with them. Ruby, my my daughter, does not play with Barbies. Oh, that's okay. Well, I could always take her to Disney time some other day. Ah, uh, Disney time is for me, not for you. So, uh, well, thanks for the one millionth Barbie doll that I don't really want. Well, if you need anything, just. Give me a call or something. Our open mic night is about to begin, so you've got to go. I know she won't know over here. Oh Eugene, I need my patient files. Trailblazing in the Kentucky state.
Give me the chills. Thank you. Her voice always gives me the chills. That's awesome. My dad had the air conditioning on full blast the other night and it was so freaking cold in the house that I got the freaking chills. I was like, Dad, turn the heat on. I'm cold. Freaking cold. Does your mom like it cold in the house too? My mom divorced my dad. I think my mom was kind of going through some stuff. I think she's going through like a midlife crisis or something. She's like 40 or something. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. But my dad's real cool. He plays the guitar. He sometimes accompanies me when I play the brass. Cool. It sounds really good. It sounds kick ass. Oh no, Tony. This is an artificial Christmas tree. We won't be able to hear messages from it. It's plastic. Well, that's okay. I got this bag of oranges and I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna eat all these up right now while I wait for you to go on stage. That's good. Oh yes, they're ready to be eaten. I'm so nervous! My, you're like metaphorically the best poet I've ever heard. You're gonna do super great. Heidi, I'm nervous too. We've never done sibling poetry together before an audience. Rachel, you're like metaphorically the best person that I've ever met who can string sentences together in a rhyming pattern. Here, eat, eat this. Mason, you're too good. Five bucks, please. You, you change? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably eat again. Mason, you're like Metaphorically, the sneakiest little sneak sneak I've ever met. I was sitting over here the whole time. I wasn't even being sneaky. Are you okay? No. Do you guys just want to maybe snuggle to relieve your anxiety? Okay, let's do the octopus snuggle. Hey Eugenie! Hey Dr. Weiss! Are the two of you ready to get this party started? Absolutely. All I need to do is just prep some of my straws and needles and we'll be good to go. Here's a list of this evening's local talents. <gasps> the Cat Rybarski! The Cat Rybarski! That's my friend! She's so funny! That's my friend! Oh my gosh! This is, you guys are gonna love her! She's so funny! <laughs> yes! Oh my, I'm going Let's get this party life. started! 360! I like clean hands. I usually say the alphabet or sing happy birthday twice when I wash my hands. Oh, I've had bad experiences with checks too. What are your thoughts on Western Union? That's great. You can get back to me later. You're gonna love Dr. Wass. I mean, just look at my face. A little closer. I don't like to get too close to people. That's right, your mama told me that. I'm sorry. Kawan said you had a little space bubble issue. I'm sorry about that. You know, when I went to go, oh, sorry. When I went to go meet your mama for the first time in 30 years, I wanted to look my best. So what I wanted to tell you was I came here because they offer facial acupuncture. I got rid of my wrinkles. Well, at least most of them. You do look pretty young. Thank you. 
loves you. I, I love your mama. And I love you. Do you care if I tell people that you're my son? Sure. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll hug you one day. One day is fine by me when the sun comes up and the light shines through and the rooster crows on a Sunday. Um, all right. Oh, I just got the chills. Oh, now I know why Mr. Chillgiver's here. I'm really excited to see you do stand-up cat. Yes, me too. Cat Rybarski is here, everybody. Cat Rybarski is yeah. here. I'm so excited you're headlining tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Awesome. Let's get this party started. You're a good dancer. Hey. His name is Jacoby. That's great, Dwayne. Does Jacoby need some water? He's not thirsty, but he could use a deep tissue massage. Mm. I've caressed plant life, but I've never given a plant deep tissue massage. I wonder if the pressure would hurt him. Did you say massage? Katie's studying to be a plant massage therapist. Wow. Do you think that you could give Jacoby here a deep tissue massage? And I have an aroma candle for Jacoby too. It's butterfly aroma. I love butterflies. I made it. Here you go. It smells like butterflies because Plants like butterflies because butterflies take the pollen and spread the seeds to procreate. Procreation, that's great. Hmm. I love it. Katie's awesome. Welcome everybody to Dr. Weiss's open mic night. Yeah! We're about to see some good talent. All right, before we get started, the first appointment with Dr. Weiss is Vicky. Vicky, come on back. Yeah, Vicky. All right, folks, let's get this party started. Uh-oh. Let's put our hands together for Mike and Rachel. A brother-sister duo. There's that freaky guy from the party. No. I knew I knew you from somewhere. No, no. Yes. No. Okay, whatever you say. Hello, Hi. hello, how are you? I'm doing great, how are oh, you? Oh good, I'm Hi. glad to hear I'm Hi. doing wonderful. I looked over your file. I yes. see what you want. I got my needle set up. So uh, if you could just face this way. Okay. I just this is good. This stuff. I just need a clear shot to your cranium. Okay. Just close your eyes. Breathe deeply. <sighs> Perfect. That's all. And you warm my body with such great fire. Burning with blue embers. It's my desire. I really love the way you smile. With the shining of a thousand suns. I really want you to have my babies. I hope they don't have rabies. Ever since I've met you, I feel so mighty. What he's really trying to say is... Will you marry me, Heidi? Oh. 
Eugenie, what's all the applause? Marriage proposal. Another one. Wow. -wee. We have a building full of love, I guess. Of course I will, my cute little polar bear. Oh, the opposite happened to me. My husband cheated on me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It looks like ice from the Arctic. I love it. Instead of proposing marriage, he proposed on marriage. I'd be your maid of honor. I'll wear clean socks. And you know what, Jeannie? Of course. I'm not absolutely. okay with you. You know why? Because Dr. Flores comes in here and puts a face in the window, stares at me, rubs it in my face. And I tell you what. It's the worst. Did they call Nemo Livka yet? No. Oh good. I was late because I saw UFO in the sky and I had to uh, communicate with it because that's how my dad communicates with me through unidentified flying object. Your dad sounds really cool. I guess. Thank you. He is cool. He's dead. Let's continue good time, yeah? <laughs> Dr. Weiss's next appointment is with Raju! Raju, don't you worry. Dr. Weiss will take good care of you. Raju, come on back! I love that boy. Hey, Cat. If you want to, you can go sit back in the VIP room since you're the headliner. It's really cool. You go back there, and as soon as it's time for you to come out, I'll come get you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right back there. It's in the break room. All right, let's continue this party. Oh, I like Barbies. It smells like brand new. Yeah, Millennium Princess. So many princesses. Oh my gosh, there's more. All right, Raju, take a deep breath. So just sit. Close your eyes. <sighs> That's all. That's it? That's perfect. Relax, enjoy the ambiance. I'll check on you soon, all right? Wait, wait, Doc, before you leave. Do you have a treatment to help me with hugging people? I really want to hug my stepmom. Oh, that's so nice. Of course, I have a treatment. Just give me one minute. And I talked to I'm Rachel about like the maybe what how her bridesmaid yes, made uh, uh, her dress would look like, and like all of the party you know, favors she might be a little bit and all the wedding favors. Yeah, so we'll probably, I don't know. Just I'm just gonna mount Rushmore snuggle in. Like a polar bear theme in a suit. So fabulous. I can't even believe I'm gonna be even though actually metaphors. The bike is straight in the hallway says that bad guys on his way. And he has a sword. Oh no. Oh my god, did you go online one one? I didn't have a chance! Wait, what's going on? 
<laughs> this <laughs> life is so <laughs> sad. Bop, bop, bop. I love you. I love you. I love you. You I love don't you. love me. No, she's talking about her dog. She doesn't love me. She just loved my doggy style. No. You know when you die, you go to a different planet. You should just leave us alone and go kill yourself. Shut up. That doesn't make any sensical. <laughs> You, are you getting this on camera? I won't be on TV! Here, Eugene, take Wajiru's phone. Call 911. I'll make sure everyone is safe. But my stepmom Bonnie Lewis is out there. You, I can't hear what he's saying. You can't hear me because I'm thinking. This world is the worst. Can I just call my dad and tell him I love him? No! Guess not. I don't have any health insurance. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Who's that? Ah! You are worst nightmare. Oh, Ruth, I'm gonna cut her throat. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Would you slice her throat if if I moved my finger? Don't move your finger, Doctor Flores. You haven't been very nice to me. I feel like I might want to move my finger so he chops your head off. Don't do it, Barbie. You called me Barbara? No! I'm sorry, Barbara! I'm sorry for all the bad things I've done to you! I'll never call you Barbie again! Everybody stop apologizing! I'm about to cut his head off! <laughs> I can hit the jugular and I can fall asleep! He just <laughs> his head! Come on, Dr. Barbara Weiss! Come on! <laughs> Do you think I play with these? Polar bears attack! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Oh, look, it's the pal pal. Uh, 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 give up me. Give up me. Hey, up me. everybody off the bad guy. The poor guy can't breathe. Oh, God. All right, buddy. Uh, 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 let me go. Uh, you guys had anything to do with this, Perry? Were you guys? No, officer, I swear. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Slow down, brother. Relax. I'm gonna get you. Perry, I noticed you had a lot of cars uh, parallel parked out there. You must have had a good night. Yeah, I made 70 bucks. 70 bucks? Good job. Take care of yourself. It's alright man, you're right. You're gonna be booked tonight. You Jamie! Tilly! I'm so happy you're alright! Oh, Eugene! You almost got murdered! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm all right, Raju. I'm all right. <laughs> My boy. My mom is so lucky. I feel like we're dancing on heaven's door. Well, this bad guy came in and he tried to murder everyone. Good night. Oh, Mason. Yeah, so I heard you got engaged. I saw it go down. Yeah. So anyways, I have these organic berry gummies, so you can have these for five bucks. Oh yeah, I'm starving. I got a tent. That'll do. Keep it, yeah. Gotta get fit for your wedding, Mike. Yeah, stay on me. I will. Thanks, Mason.
Dr. Flores, I'm so sorry you almost got your head chopped off with a sword. That was crazy. Thank you so much for saving my life. You're welcome. You know, no matter who you are, you may not agree on everything and you may actually hate the guts of each other, but you can fight the bad guys together. You can fight the bad guys together. Oh, I need to go wash my hands. What are you doing so close to me? Put your hands together for Miss Cat Red Barkey! Holy cat, holy cat, holy cat. Cat! Oh, thank you so much, thank you. Thank you so much for coming yes. to this doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> so I got picked up recently. Uh, not like physically picked up, but like if it was physically, I'm not gonna be a jerk about it, you know? Like I'm not 16 years old anymore. Like if somebody, if you wanna pick me up, you know your own strength, all right? Like I'm not gonna talk you out of it. Like, oh, I'm too heavy, put me down. No, <laughs> go for it. But I don't want any sign that it's hard for you. <laughs> like the second that you're like, <gasps> no, put me down immediately. <laughs> don't need that. I can walk across this threshold myself. I'd have to say the worst Christmas gifts that I get anymore are shower gel though. Like most people think that that's a great gift, but you can only receive shower gel so many times before it becomes insulting.